and welcome to day number 31 out of the 32 days for Star Ladder Star Series group stages online. And uh, it's only uh, only eight matches away from, from actually knowing who is actually going to go to Kiev. It's going to be exciting until the very end because the last match of the uh, group stage is going to be happening tomorrow. Is Virtus Pro versus Mouse, which basically will decide which one of those two teams is going to go on. And. Um, we're having six games today. This is game number one of all the six games. We have got a 3D clan taking up Power Rangers. And uh, just a quick rundown on the scores right now. For Power Rangers, they have got three games today. Uh, so a lot will depend on on that. And uh, we're going to see if they can uh, if they can get some extra points. They kind of need some extra points to still not be able uh, not, not getting dropped down to Pro Series. We have got 3D clan. Who have been doing uh, kind of nicely. They uh, have got... Uh, they are, they're eight. They're safe. They don't have any... Like, they can lose all the games they want, they can win all the games they want, it's not going to change anything. They'll just be back next season for Star Series, but are not going to go to Kiev and also not going to go drop down to the Pro Series. So let's see if Power Rangers can make it happening for them today. We have got them on the Radiant side with 3D Clan on the Dire side. We've got a Undying getting banned out, something that we don't see every day, with a uh, Bad Rider and a Coddle also getting banned out. We still have the Nyx there for in and also the Wisp. So one of those two is going to make it through and maybe even both. If Power Rangers decides like let's just go for the um, for the for the dark sea or something and then get, get the chance that they get the wisp because the wisp is something that power rangers really loves to play especially in the mid that's why that's why i, I remember them every time i see, I think oh there's a team that goes for wisp solo mid and of course we all know zxc's uh, queen of pain i guess but let's see if 3d clan is going to let them have it or not because uh, they are up for uh, picking first as um they were in the lobby first, so it's kind of like, you know, if you're in the lobby first, you can decide whether you want to be getting the, picking the sides or picking the first pick, and they picked the first pick. And the Power Rangers are going to be okay without the Wisp. They pick up a Magnus and a Phantom Lancer without really thinking about it, and already having that complete, so already saying this is going to be going a late game. And <clears throat> it's interesting that, because, you know, with the Phantom Lancer, you want to kind of like... You know, have your peace and quiet and farm. He is very susceptible to ganks at some point. If that Wisp gets his levels up and he is going to be able to team up with someone that can do a decent amount of AoE damage also to the Phantom Ten Lancer. Illusions to, to just scout out which one is the real one. Dire team pick. They're going to bring dust and they're going to kill him off. <coughs> My bad. <Reserved. coughs> wow, sorry for that. <clears throat> There we go. Darkseer being picked up by 3D Clan, and uh, the Rubik uh, there as well. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be their support, and they're really not giving anything away about what they want to be teaming up with that Wisp. They, they are giving Power Rangers a fairly easy job of banning out heroes, though. Like they're just banning out heroes. They don't want to see with that Wisp. We might see a Gyro and a Tiny still being banned out, but the Chaos Knight, of course, already being banned out. And now for Power Rangers, they uh, they kind of have got an. Carry. They've got a solo lane, which could be either solo mid or solo off lane, I guess. And they got a support. And it looks like 3D Clan. They just want to make sure they don't have to face the Queen of Pain. And they don't want to be um, want to be seeing the Shadow Demon or Shrek combination with the uh, stun followed up by the disruption. We might also see Alina being banned out for that if if 3D Clan is still expecting a support. That is because I mean they don't really need to. We might see also a Lifestealer still being banned up by Power Rangers, uh, I just thought of that, because Wisp with the Lifestealer there, I mean, that's going to be a relocate with three people rather than two. Always nice to see. But, um, Ten seconds remaining. but yeah, they, they need a solo mid and a, um, Five and a carry. Seconds remaining. And there's Alina still getting banned out. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of carry they want to do around the pick here, because, oh, there's a Lifestealer and they still be banned out. Gyrocopter is still in a pool. <coughs> Power Rangers opting to go for the Antimate rather than for the Gyro. And there's the Tiny. Now Tiny is a hero that if he gets his farm up and he gets, uh, he gets a tree and everything, he actually has a lot of cleave damage that can also do a lot of, that a lot of hurt to that Phantom Lancer. It's gonna all depend on the farm difference though. And if 3D Clan can really own the mid game, which is something that they're gonna be aiming to do because they don't, like, they don't have late game. Not with the Phantom Lancer on the board. Even with that cleave from the Tiny late game. Much than a chance. We, we all know how remaining. tanky those illusions can become. Five seconds remaining. Let's see what the pickup is for Power Rangers here. Are they still gonna go for something like a 
Jakiro or something. The reason I say that is because, uh, you know, Lashrek and Lina being banned out, uh, two heroes that follow up nicely with the disruption. An Ice Path does, does the same thing. An Ice Path is also something that can follow up really nicely with that uh, with that disruption. So we're going we're gonna to be seeing if they want to try to do something like that. They could also just go for dual lane and I just have the safe lane there and pick up a jungle hero. I mean, yeah, all those are still in the pool. We still have uh, the Chen and the Chantress, even the Enigma, if they really want to have that. All still there. Well, let's see what the last, or not last, what the first pickup is. Come on, Power Rangers, you can do it. <laughs> Maybe picking up their mid laner. Like Tiny, I, I mean, Tiny is is gonna is actually also able to be the mid laner for 3D Clan. So maybe Power Rangers want to wait with picking up their mid lane before they know, uh, like until after they know what 3D Clan is gonna pick up as their last pick, and that just secure a support or a uh, or a well or a jungler with that. But the the risky thing is that 3D Clan might actually then pick up the hero that Power Rangers wants to go for. I mean, we still have the puck in the pool if they want to go for some um, something like that. The dream call. I mean, if you look at the the, the disable wise, we have three D clan. They've got a telekinesis, an avalanche, a tether stun, and vacuum. Great stuff. On power range, you've got the disruption, which is great, but you can't attack the target through the disruption, so it's not that great. You've got the the slow, and you've got the RP. That's basically the only disable that they have. Now they've got. Well, I can. I really don't know if we can call it a disable. Uh, the kinetic field, of course, to lock people in with the silence. There is very nice against the tiny, the static storm. And of course, very nice against that wisp as well. <clears throat> Let's see uh, what the last pickup is going to be for 3D. Is it going to be their solo mid? Like I said, Ten Puck is still in. Windrunner, Beastmaster, all still in, still as well. And it is still the Gyrocopter, so we are going to see that tiny mid. As I just uh, said, that would be an option. And the Gyrocopter, we've seen, <clears throat> we've seen movies on on the YouTube, I guess that. Uh, Gyrocopter, Wisp TP, and you can clear out entire teams with a BKB activated, cooldown, rock rush, flat cannon, and everything like that. <coughs> wow. And that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be nice if they can get that off. I mean, uh, the flat cannon also really nice against Phantom Lancer seconds, Illusions. Remaining. And if you look at it right now, you have and the tiny cleave and the, the, the flat cannon remaining. helping out to clean out the Phantom Lancer Illusions. So Power Rangers are. <coughs> I was gonna say are a bit of, at a decision to either choose a mid hero that can really stand on his own and a mid hero that can like a, be a semi carry but yeah they pick up oh it's gonna be shadow demon solo mid they pick up an ogre magi forget that shadow demon solo mid gonna be zxc playing that one I'm sure, I think we've all seen uh, ZXC's Queen of Pain before, he makes some big plays, and Shadow Demon is one of those heroes that is actually really strong one-on-one. -on -one. He has a, he has shutdown, he has that soul catcher, the poison is really annoying. And it's, um, yeah, it's great. I like it. Ten I am hoping for them that it's gonna work out, because I do realize that the lineup from 3D Clan is Five definitely not looking uh, too bad either. But if Power Rangers can hold on long enough, then they will be fine. One thing that worries me also for Power Rangers lineup though, like they have got this RP, which is brilliant, you know, I mean, big AoE damage, big a or big AoE disable. And normally you have something like that with either a, a Jakiro or Light Tracker Ray or Lishrak, etc. Um, just AoE damage to follow up on that. But now they, they kind of, they have got a bit of AoE damage, of course, the Static Storm and uh, the Ignite and, and maybe also a Thunderstrike actually. Shockwave, but it's it's you know it's all there a bit, but not as much burst as you would expect for or as you would see from other people. So they they are a bit uh, da I don't know reliant on 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 the brilliant combinations, but it's um it's interesting. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, we have a pause by the way, so that just give me the time to introduce everybody. So Cat is gonna be playing the Ogre Magi. He is uh, of course the person that we know from playing that solo mid Wisp. Um, I'm not expecting him to be solo mid right here, because ZXC, I think he is going to be taking that job. ZXC playing the Shadow Demon for his team. Nanik going to be playing the Disruptor. Moon is going to be playing the Phantom Lancer. And we have got a stand-in. It's going to be the Magnus who is going to be standing in, and he is going to be played by a name that I cannot pronounce, but I'm going to try. Niwa Tipuna. There we go. I think I did that very nicely. 
So let's take a look at what 3D Clan is having here. We have Stalianer playing the Gyrocopter, so it will probably be Gyro mid, not uh, the Tiny mid. <coughs> it will be uh, Nexus, who's going to be playing the Tiny. Manifest, who's standing in as well for uh, 3D Clan today, is going to be playing the Rubik with Ciro on the Dark Seer, and that will leave only one hero in the pool. And that will be the. Um, hmm. That will be the other support. Wow, am I really that, like, yeah, I think I am. The first pick was, oh, a wisp, of course. What am I talking about? The first pick was a wisp. <laughs> so that's going to be the wisp, and he's going to be played by Solo. So Solo will be playing the wisp for 3D Clan. And uh, we're just going to have to wait until Solo is actually back, because he is not there right now. Shadow Demon Soul in mid. I actually, uh, we have seen Shadow Demon solo laning before. I have actually seen him owning a solo lane on the hard lane. And I think if, if he's gonna be able to get a Shadow Point and stuff, I'm really curious to see how he's gonna build that. Normally you would expect something like Disruption level 1, Soul Catch level 1, and then they just stack Shadow Poison. Just so that you can constantly harass the Gyrocopter. And it, it does so much damage, like it doesn't scale very well into the late game, but early game? You really shouldn't underestimate that. Come on, Solo. You can do it. Oh, let's put that. Oh, let's see if we have a different HUD. No, we don't. Do we want to have a different announcer? Actually, I do. Normally, I don't do that, but, you know. I hope you're okay with that. Mixing it up today. Woohoo! Second last day of Star Ladder Star Series. Oh yeah, and for people on the VOD, if you're in the, indeed watching this in the, in, the, in the right order, then you know you don't know what's happened just yet. But, um, well, also maybe people that joined later. But there's going to be a lot that's going to be decided today. We're going to be having Empire with the match. If Empire lose that game, which is, by the way, up against 3D Clan, the team that we see here as well, they're solo, by the way. If, uh, if, if Empire lose that match, they're not going to go to Kiev. If Empire wins that match, they're going to Kiev. Guaranteed. Well, if they lose that match, there's actually still a chance that I go to Kiev. That depends on all the teams. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have Mouse Sports today up against Power Rangers. So, that's gonna be them again. And Mouse Sports is gonna be um, needing to win that match. They need to win that match in order to go to. Uh, they, they can't lose anymore. If they, don't, if they lose, they don't go to Kiev. It's that simple. Navi, they have to win their match today and then hope that Mouse Sports loses their two matches that they still have and the Empire loses their match as well and then they can still go to Kiev. I know, right? That's going to be three losses needed to still send Navi to Kiev. It's, it's going to be taking some, um, yeah, some luck, I guess. And uh, yeah, th there's going to be a lot decided today. Also, a lot decided uh, Power Rangers actually uh, have three matches today. So all their last matches, and they kind of need to win a couple to uh, to make sure that they're not going to get eliminated out to Pro Series. And maybe with an Ogre Magi, they can! Now the thing is... Ogre Magi... He is a great stun, very spammable, all that jazz, but it is, uh, you know, that multicast is based on luck. Seconds to go. You really want to... Oh, 30 seconds to go. Do you really want to, you know, have your whole strategy based on luck? It's of course not the whole strategy, they got the Phantom Lancer, so if they hold on long enough then they will be able to be alright, but... Still, it's, it's not even gonna be easy, even late game. If there's a Phantom Lancer that's farmed up, versus a Gyro and a Tiny that's farmed up, what can a Phantom Lancer, can a Phantom Lancer really carry his team to victory? And they're off. I'm not sure if they are, uh, like, like late game, Phantom Lancer is of course great, but if you look at the rest of the lineup, Magnus, he's still gonna be great. It's gonna be really dependent on those uh, RPs though. And then you have an Ogre Magi, a Disruptor, and a Shadow Demon. That's that, and it looks like we're gonna see the Magnus mid. And we're gonna see, what, what's this? Oh come on, let me see Shadow Demon mid. Shadow Demons, he picked up a bottle, level one. Has to do something. What's he, is he gonna jungle? 
Is he gonna do the whole jungling thing? He might. He might wait to the 53 minute and then start with the shadow poison. So I get a stack going. Is exclamation marking on some uh, someone to else to stack as well? Yeah, he's gonna stack this. Okay, fair enough. By the way, mid lane is the only lane that people are reaching each other. Well, this is something that we don't see every day. It's nice to see still to be able to see something new, right? Well, it's not really new. We have seen this being done with the Rubik. I've not seen it done with the Shadow Demon before yet. We, there was, of course, a video up on up on YouTube, of course, on Reddit also, um, about a jungling slash pulling Rubik from the high ground. We're gonna be seeing if he can pull. Oh, he's actually gonna TP top. Seeing if we can get some experience. There is a lane that's gonna be pushed in, so he's getting ready to, to soak up the experience that's gonna come into his tower. Doesn't want to give that up, and he might as well uh, get the experience. He's actually gonna share it with Kat, who's on his way now as well. And the Shadow Poison will be there to harass everybody and let people know that they're there. And look at that, three stacks. Do not underestimate the power of stacks. So, oh, toss in, Telekinese there as well. Here comes a stun, though. ZXE gets an avalanche to the face. It is gonna be Nexus, it's already out of mana, and Solo is the one to go down. The first blood goes to ZXE. The drop so low by those three stacks of Shadow Poison. Now Ignite up on Tiny also slows a bit. There's another stun. Like I said, spammable. More Shadow Poisons going through. Telekinesis also stunning up ZXE. Should be able to be enough unless... Unless... Unless there's gonna be Shadow Poison three stacks and will do the job. ZXE gets himself a double kill. And what the hell was that sound? Oh, I know what that was. There. Gone. Also should make your stream a bit smoother. <clears throat> but yeah. Wow. Double kill. Well, he didn't really get the double kill credit, I believe. But that's just to show just shit. What's happening to Dyer's bottom tower? Dyer's bottom tower. Oh, he's getting attacked. Okay, sorry, I have not used the bastard announcer, and I actually try to listen to what he says because I think, hey, someone is telling me something useful. But uh, yeah, but yeah, that was CXC getting a double kill. Eh, you know, eh, it works. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be a 12 for 2 for the Magnus here, still the Aener having 18 for 4, so getting ahead, but the, the most important thing for this Magnus is of course to get levels, and he is getting that, he is level 4 and he is just, uh, he's on par with the Gyrocopter, so he's doing okay for that one, and maybe when he's level 6 we're gonna see him rotating, uh, though where he's gonna be rotating probably top because it's the only place where people are, because this guy is free farming, this guy is free farming, and that is, that is trouble. I mean, there's... 3D Clan is probably feeling very safe with the ha their, them having two carries and, and you know, versus one carry. But it, but a Phantom Lancer can get out of control so fast that it will not be... Uh, yeah, it will not be good, uh, good for, for a 3D Clan. We're gonna see that. In the meantime, top lane, they're back there again. Lane is this time not gonna be pushed out, it's gonna be 3D. That's gonna be trying to just keep the equilibrium here and just uh, gonna be going for that uh, for that farm. Solo just checking out the rune as well, but giving it to the gyro in regen rune. I think he's gonna try to go for the kill up on the gyro copter with the, with his ultimate when he has it. He needs some help though, I think. Can't do it by himself just yet. Not without him harassing him a bit more. Oh, and the push actually still goes goes on. So Leena, Rock of Barrage. The push still comes from the bottom lane. Cat standing very close back, level three. We're gonna have uh, Moonlight also uh, getting a bit of a uh, bit of a push going, but uh, the Iron Shell will be there to make sure that Moonlight can last it on the Rest Tower again, very safely. And he picked up his first uh, first blade of Lacrosse, so we'll be going for that Diffusal Blade. As ZXC decides, it's time to take the stack that he created earlier. Of course, he was uh, creating that at the start. <laughs> Moonlight, yeah, it's, it's it's annoying with all those iron shells harassing him, but he should be he should be fine. He should be getting yeah, he's gonna get for, go for tranquil boots just to be able to stay alive against the harassment that comes from the iron shell. Tower will help him out a bit, but you know, like like you can see, he's already down to half HP just by two iron shells. Doesn't miss the miss a beat though. Doesn't miss a beat. Experience coming in again on the top lane. There was he cat making good use of that. 
This is actually not too bad for, for the supports from Power Rangers. They're, they're getting some solid report uh, experience. We have got level 3 upon Cat. He will be level 4 soon as well. Maybe even with that creep that just got... Yeah, level 4. And of course, uh, ZXC with the creep that he just took, level 5. Last support at level 4. The Nick was still farming uh, and pulling in the jungle. And if we compare them to the supports here, level 4 and level 4 also up on, uh, up on 3D Clan. Let's see to actually level 6. Oh, okay. That, that will put 3D Clan... Uh, not even that much in favor. It's it's, a, it's fairly even. Never mind me. Feather's gonna help out. Kyle already uh, pinging on the map, thinking you know they're they're gonna push. Help, help, help. As you see, is uh, it's coming there. It's coming there. Picks himself up face boots, so he's gonna. I I I I really like this build. He is indeed gone for the build that I said. Just stacking that shadow poison and for one disruption, one soul catcher. And he got himself the Facebook, so he will be also de doing some uh, some levels. I just want to go for him. There goes the uh, ignite as well. And some stacks of shadow poison just to, just to be annoying. And of course, most importantly, shadow poison gives vision on the target. It's a very a very nice uh, very very nice spell there. And uh, Phantomancer picks himself actually up the kill on the dark sea on the bottom lane, Get being helped there by the glimpse from the disruptor. So shall not surge away. They shall be. Uh, Stuck inside the kinetic field and getting killed off by the Phantom Lancer. And the push is uh, pushed out again, so the rotation comes again. They do rotate quite a bit, but level 6 now on the Shadow Demon, he can try to go for solo kills right now. He is one of those heroes that, like I said, if you're meeting him one-on-one -on -one and he has all his spells and all his mana up, at the start of the game, you're not going to win that. You're going to need to be having a bit farm for that. You're not going to win that one-on-one -on -one fight. Disruption will be there, Soul Catcher, and they're going to go for the Gyrocopter. They're already standing around Kat as well as uh, ZXE. Demonic Purge will make sure that um, that he doesn't run away and he's actually... They're not gonna go for it. They're gonna wait for the mana boots for the Magnus. The rotation keeps on coming. We don't even have boots yet up on Kat, but he moves around so much. You'd expect him to get boots if he walks around this much. Oops. In the meantime, it is of course the Moon that's uh, farming here. 55 for 10. We can compare him to the Tiny. Tiny is 50 for 3. Now, of course, Moonlight is slightly ahead there, but it's also the fact that actually Nexus died once. Uh, it's gonna be uh, putting him in favor. And uh, more importantly, Nexus died once, and uh, Moon has actually got himself a kill. So, very nice, uh, very nice there. And we have got uh, Kat again soaking up experience coming into the top lane. It's, it's very nice to have, like, 3D clan. I think they shouldn't be doing this. Like, either you push and you take the tower, or you don't push. And you don't give the opponent that's hanging around his tower to be very safe any experience. And and they're not doing that. They're doing neither. Smoke up now for ZXC and Nanik. Maybe still gonna go for the Gyrocopter, even without the Magnus there. They're standing around. And they will probably be going for this. Wait for the show. Uh, oh, never mind. They, they would have to dive this. Here comes the demon disruption first. Soul catcher, there as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, <frame. laughs> it's just way too much burst damage. No demonic burst needed at all. Everything was there. Cat didn't even no get an assist for that one. Duh, it was just way too much damage. Static storm level six disruption now also. We're gonna be seeing again ZXC rotating top to get the experience here that comes in from the top lane. Dyer's and next, next is again, and they have to back off. It is, it is just not possible for them to take the, uh, to take the tower. And I mean, the tower is not even down to half Dyer's HP, and they continuously just giving those health. people experience. And, and I mean, there's no wards or anything like that in the, in the 3D clan jungle. Cold, I'm coming down upon three tower. We'll still go down. But Rocket Barrage, screw her away. There comes a stun up a Solianer. Telekinesis up on Kat, who's gonna be gonna be taken down. Toss into the Magnus, who is gonna go down as well. Darkseer's Iron Shell doing the works. Nexus picking up one kill. Cedoy picking up the other. Two kills out of the three. Nicely done. They do lose the tower, but they, they make sure that uh, Power Rangers paid for that one. And it drops the gold back uh, towards the zero line with those kills, I would guess. Maybe even slightly below. In favor of 3D Clan then. Next is having himself some drums. He's now level eight. Radiant is at the level that level eight is at the level that you would be expecting uh, 
Expecting the tiny to run around and eat and get in kills, but he needs to have his full HP for that, of course. He got drums, he got space, he's not that bad. Not doing too bad at all. Uh, we do have uh, the Yasha actually up on Phantom Lancer and only now going for the Diffuser Blade. Well, I guess when you have the Diffuser Blade, you, you want to try to use it, so first having a Yasha is not even bad. I mean, for, for Moon, I mean, the longer the laning phase takes, the better. And he just wants farm. And yeah, Asha helps him more on the laning stage. And the Fusal Blade helps him also laning phases, uh, on the laning phases as well. But more like when he's getting ganked or something like that. And he is not getting ganked. He is doing just fine by himself. We still haven't uh, seen an RP, by the way. Of course, uh... Oh, and there, there, there might actually be an RP. He glimps back into the kinetic field. Telekinesis is still there. <laughs> the multicast. It's gonna be too much. And Mac is actually getting the last TP in here. With this... Oh! Oh, he wanted to go for an RP, but he gets tether stunned. Can they actually do something here? Wisp will be out of here again soon. Oh, he gets burned up and doesn't take Tiny home with him. Cooldown coming down. Steel Pump Magnus. He wants to go for an RP, though. Gets it on Salianer. There's going to be a kinetic field around him again. Shockwave going through, and the Phantom Lancer here gets a kill. Wants to go for more. Another multicast. Nexus in trouble. Nexus goes down. And a double kill for Moon. The first time he leaves his lane. And is definitely a worthy, uh, a worthy uh, travel, I'd say. Gets himself the second blade of accuracy and is gonna be a step closer towards his defusal blade. And gets himself a double kill, of course. Now I've been in four kills. Three kills for himself and one assist. You're still in the middle lane. In the meantime, on the bottom lane, it's Cedar that's trying to push down the tower, or at least trying to get some pressure on there. Not sure if he can actually take down the tower, and I don't think he thinks so either, so he TPs. Wow, this guy from Bastion is talking a hell of a lot. Just saying. I normally don't. Bottom tower seen better days. Normally don't notice when the when the lady actually says all that stuff because you're used to it and you just block it out. But this guy, is talking so much. And recipe for the diffuse blade only. Only 200 gold needed or so, and then he has it. Then he will have it. In the meantime, it's level eight upon the shadow demon. Let's just put up the net worth for a second and see how people are doing. Phantom Lancer greatly pulling up ahead. Like not even like not even a little bit. No, it's. It's a lot, but I'm kind of expecting Nexus to be having something in the courier or something. Nope. This is all that he has. The same thing as just now, and only 300 gold in his pocket. He of course died just now. Fair enough. Still, I was expecting a bit more. Probably wants to go for a blink dagger or something like that. Uh, they can try to go for a teleport again. They have got the ult up Radiant once more. But then again, who are you going to teleport onto is the question. And there's going to be uh, two supports hanging around here. It's, it's too risky. Too risky to go towards this. Oh, disruption. TP incoming. Soul catcher as well. Here comes a glimpse. Helping out. And there's Nexus back once again. Getting stunned up. Kinetic field. Static storm. Dead. Now Neek picking it up. Wants to go for solo as well. But he can't get another glimpse off. So solo is going to be safe. That was a fairly easy kill there. Saliena hanging around there with the smoke. And he's going to come in soon. They see him now. Cold down coming down. Doesn't hit anything. DXC walking himself away, nice multi This guy! They use multicast, he should buy a lottery ticket I think. Here comes an RP perhaps! Magnus wanted to go for something on both of them but couldn't find it so he backs off again. Magnus who's almost got his blink dagger, oh and hey, Phantom Lancer is here. He actually gets the Rubik still. That was the place where the Rubik was standing. That was a glimpse back for him. And he has the Diffuser Blade. With that four kills going his way. Three supports, Magnus and a Phantom Lancer. Who knew? The dire Who knew, right? In their top tower. Trouble brewing at Radiant's I don't think tower. that the lady talks this much. That's why I'm trying to bust down Radiant structures now. Dyer's top tower is beat down. Dyer's top tower's gone. Does he ever shut up? Radiant's bottom tower seem better days. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bastion. Announcer. So, uh. It's mid -tower. Could use a hand. <laughs> we have got the tower being taken down. Nexus is gonna be, uh, avalanching, but it's gonna get a multicast in the face. Tower is gonna try to help out. Toss is still gonna be there to take the tower. And Kat is actually gonna be dropping here. He doesn't have any mana anymore. And Nexus, he stays alive, gets himself a solo kill, gets himself another level, and uh, we'll be very happy with that. So, Leana and Manifest actually came in just, uh, to help out should it be needed, but it wasn't needed. Solo Ogre Magi is, is no match for a Tiny, especially not if it's level 8 versus level 9, and now level 10 of course, but it was level 9 earlier. 
Blink Dagger indeed up on the Magnus. So we'll be having, uh, because he hasn't been able to find his RPs. We have seen one, of course, and, and sometimes he's run in, but, you know, he's ran out straight afterwards because he realized that 3D Clan knew what he was doing. But with the Blink Dagger, he will be able to get his, uh, himself some uh, some nice ganks. And now, Smoke up there, they want to go for this. There's the Blink and RP. Selianer is going to be the target, and he is going to drop once more. Still lands a cooldown, but it doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter at all. And in the meantime, Rubik's still level 4. 5. Almost level 6. But, you know, it's, it's important to have him level 6 like he is right now. Because you want to be able to steal those RPs and be that big nuisance in team fights that we know he can be. But only level 6 so at, at 16 minutes in, it's a bit of a letdown. Uh, we do already have the Wisp at level 8, of course. I mean, he's leveling just fine. Uh, if we take a look at the levels overall. And it's, um... <laughs> oh, apparently that our structures are fortified. Yeah. Um, is if uh, if you look at the levels, we do see that the supports of, th of 3D are just way lo lower level than the supports of uh, of Power Rangers, and we even have the Shadow Demon. I mean, we, he's no support in this game. Let that be known. I mean, he's he's not being built as a support. He is he's no support. The dire best do something about that bottom tower. It's it's that simple, but um, yeah, he is level 10 as well. He is doing very nice. It is the highest level for the uh, Phantom Lancer, of course. I mean, he has basically been farming constantly. And he has actually has a level 2 Diffuse Blade, and he's only be coming out of, of his lane for kills, which he actually got. So, so far so good, I'd say, for him. Doing a very nice job. We do have uh, Magnus again back on the mid lane. For uh, for a 3D clan, it is really a case of just now... Like, normally I wouldn't say this in a, in a game where the Phantom Lancer is there, and where the Wisp is actually on the other side, but they have to play it safe. They have to try to just get their farm up and not try to go for too many ganks, because it could turn around against them so fast. Unless they know that they can go for guaranteed ganks, they shouldn't try it. Even 5 man Dota right now for them is not ideal because they're gonna have to be up against an RP. And we've seen Moonlight, he is not afraid to be actually inside fights right now. So they can't even, you know, you normally you can count on if someone runs a Phantom Lancer or an Antimage or something, that you're gonna be fighting against 4 until Antimage slash Phantom Lancer is ready to fight. But this Phantom Lancer has proven it doesn't matter for him what he has or what level he has, what level the rest is, etc. He is, he is gonna be in fights. And it's proven to be very successful for a Power Ranger so far. So we're going to see 2200 gold up on the Phantom Lancer. And uh, it's going to be the Wisp that actually TP top. Yeah. So that was, uh, that was a Wisp to TP top to try and go for a gank. Now look at the HPs of these people here. Which one did he try? Did they try to gank? I don't know. In the meantime, it's going to be a uh, Seedor that's going to be dropping here as well. Standing in the Kinetic Forest Storm in the Kinetic Field is not good. And it's epic music time. It is going to be manifest that will be going down on the effect of that Rock Mirage. Can Selenor take this Moonlight? He is actually going to drop for the first time. Still gets a Thunderstrike, but Selenor staying alive. And the music ends. Uh, for people that are not aware of that, by the way, there's a buck in Dota that uh, gives that uh, sound sometimes, so sometimes it happens at the right time, sometimes at the wrong time, etc. But yeah, but Phantom Lancer is just getting slowly out of control. And, and this is the problem, like 3D Clan, yeah, they've got two, two carries, great stuff, but they kind of, they kind of, <clears throat> well, they need to be ready when that carry comes. They need to be carries too when, when the carry of the opponent team is ready. And right now they're not. We still see Jarrah building up towards BKB. I mean, almost can buy his Minthor Hammer, but I still need to get his recipe, so only 1400 gold to go. Uh, we have got a Tiny, who is going to go for Manta Style, so really going to go for that semi carry build that he is needed to have. So no surprise uh, build wise, but he only got his Yasha so far. <clears throat> and he actually died four times, and he's still highest for his team on net worth. Uh, well, I say highest, but that's also because the Kur oh no, Kur is not bringing anything. No, he is actually highest. <clears throat> Smoke up, and the only one that they're missing is Exe. Let's see if they can do something here. We do have uh, the Cedar standing around, and there is also uh, oh, there he goes manifest. Uh, Cedo is actually going to be uh, the one that's going to get scouted out, and they're going to be uh, glimpsing him, but he stood still anyways. 
We're gonna be getting a static storm, kinetic field, getting stuns. Is it gonna be enough though? Is it gonna be the question? Surge away, shockwave will do the job, and Kyle actually with the Ignite gets the last hit. Maybe he can get a set up a manifest. Looking for the line of sight, actually backs off after not getting that. <coughs> and TP out for Moon towards the top lane. Gonna be going for a solo kill on solo. Ha! Ah, pun intended. He gets it too, no surprise. Yes, it's a Phantom Lancer with a Manta style. This is this is gonna get out of control Radiant real fast. Gotta go be seeing the gold graph going Radiant towards 7,500 with the experience graph towards the 10k. And the TP's into mid. They want to defend their tier 1. Disruption there. Up on Saliena. Soul Catcher as well. Here comes the Demonic Purge to slow him down. And that's actually the Demonic Purge stole. And Saliena will still go down. Manifest on the run for his life right now. He will get a stun in his face if he's not careful, but he's running up the high ground to make sure he doesn't get vision. Oh, never mind, there's vision. And that's gonna be a four staff also to get the vision. And that's gonna be no Demonic Purge uh, being kept, even though he still uses it on the Shadow Demon, but it doesn't matter anymore. Double kill for ZXC. He is a four for zero for nine Shadow Demon. Yay. And he has got a mechanism for his team, so still that semi-support role after all. Uh, with Disruptor having a 4 staff, let's take a look at some of the other items. We have got the Refresher being built up by the Magnus. And we've got Kat having Mana Boots and a Power uh, or a Wand. That's it. And Gyro needing 1k for his BKB. We have the mechanism also up on Sidoy. With uh, the Tiny still going for an Aghanims after getting his Yasha complete. Just wants to have that tree. He needs to have that tree. Needs to buy time, actually. So we're gonna see if they're actually gonna be able to do that. Cause, you know, killing off all the outer towers is, is great and all that, but killing off the tier threes—that's when the real battle starts. Can Power Rangers do that as well? Is the question. And will they actually be just trying to go for split push? Cause they can do that. Phantom Lancer is one of those split push heroes that can actually do that. Ooh, net worth counts items in the crew. Good to know that right now. Okay, one more tier 2 tower left to take down before uh, those uh, the battle for the tier 3s begins. And I don't think that 3D clan is going to do anything against this. They can't. They can't defend this right now. It is too much. Their, their hope is going to be that Power Rangers is indeed going to be split pushing. And that they can be... Um, can be trying to to you know to, to gank someone to indeed take a team fight four on five perhaps uh, we do have a tier one tower now finally getting taken down it took some time we've seen them trying it from minute two basically uh, but they finally get down the tier one tower top uh, but they are gonna be uh, losing their tier three on the mid bottom lane if they're not careful and that will be the tier three indeed dropping moonlight getting the credits for that one it's gonna be Lance up on Saliena. He's gonna get stunned up as well. Gonna get Surge to try and get him into safety. Cooldown still coming down here. Comes uh, the Wisp uh, with the Nexus. The Kinetic Field Static Storm doesn't lock down anything, but Nexus is already on the run. Getting the overcharge to save his life. Sido, I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. Pops up a Dark Seer wall, but he's gonna die for it by his back, though. In the meantime, though, melee barracks already going down, and range barracks are not gonna be very far behind. Especially not with the illusions uh, helping out here. It's gonna be one set of racks going down. Can they try for more? Is Power Rangers gonna stick around? Is the question. They do have a bit low mana up on Moonlight, but they they might just uh, try. Maybe go for mid lane. Now they're they're gonna they're gonna leave, leaving the illusions to create some mayhem. Maybe going for a Roshan or something like that, or for a smoke gank up. Oh, this is clever. Nexus, hello and bye to you. Vacuum is still there, but it doesn't matter. Disruption, Soul Catcher up on Cedar, tries to surge himself away, but the RP will hold him in place while Ruben gets picked up. Saliena comes in solo by himself with his BKB on and he has forced a TP out. And is not gonna make it. The GG is cold. It is Power Rangers, the team that picked up a Ogre Magi together with the Disruptor and a Shadow Demon on one team. Still Phantom Lancer there. But I'm not gonna say, this wasn't the game that's won because of a Phantom Lancer, even though it did help quite a bit. It was just a good execution from uh, from Power Rangers side. That's their first game of the three games that we're gonna see from Power Rangers today. Maybe we're gonna see some more uh, spectacular stuff coming out from them, or spectacular stuff. Like, stuff that we don't normally see. Let's hope we're gonna see uh, that. Our next game is gonna be Navi taking on Foda. So stick around for that, that one. Navi Foda will be uh, the game that will... Well, Navi need to win that game. 
in order to still have a chance to go to Kiev, but it's not gonna be up to Navi if they're gonna go to Kiev, apart from if they lose that game. It all depends on if Empire and Mouseport lose their remaining games. Basically, that's what's supposed to be happening if Navi still wants to have a chance. Anyway, uh, we're gonna have that game right after this one, so stick around for that. Uh, my name is Shiver. If you want to support me, you can do so by following me on twitter.com slash shivergaming, so do that. And uh, also, don't forget to check out my website, shivergaming.com. As you can find uh, all the VODs from all the games that are being played. And not just by me, so all the VODs of all the games. And as well as a roster, of course, for all the games that are being played and who cast what. Uh, also, not just for my games, but for everybody's games. So let's jump ourselves out of this game and into the next one. Don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back.